is not 2017, it's 2019. <laughs> I think I need to get used to saying that a bit more. Um, it's the first time I filmed down at the plot this year. And to be honest, I wasn't going to film today. I was just going to quietly get on with things. But um, there were a couple of things I thought you might be interested in. I've got my raspberry canes in and I've put the red currant and black currant in and I just want to show you what I've done to the grapevine and a few things like that and just touch base really so um, let's just get on I'll show you that and then we'll catch up in the shed okay these are our bare rooted canes we've got our red currant our black currant and our polka raspberries in here and you can see they're in water they've been in there for quite some time now it's important when you get something bare rooted that you do not let the air get to the roots for more than necessary so we've kept these submerged or as much as we can and now it's a case of preparing the bed so we can just get them straight in and when i say preparing the bed i think Mainly what we need to do is clear off all the, well, the sticks for a start. But um, if you have a look, we covered it with cardboard. Or is this carpet? No, this is cardboard. Uh, just to sort of keep the weeds down. And we haven't looked under it since. since. You can see, oh, let's see. There we are, it's rotted away there already. And I don't quite know whether we're gonna, I think we're just gonna dig this in, you know. Let's have a look underneath. But it's, oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, we did put manure on this before um, we covered it. So that has worked in absolutely lovely. And to me, that looks perfect to, if we just pull that back, to just start putting things in. What's this? I don't know what that is. Let me see. Hmm. Like an onion. Oh, it is. Look, it's a little onion. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing there. I think it's an onion. Who knows? Anyway, it's not staying. Woohoo! Um, so yeah, yeah, that's answered my question. Before I've even begun, we're just gonna peel that back. And yeah, get those raspberries in. Okay, so that's what the uh, cardboard looks like. Now, if I was just planting one or two trees, like I'm gonna do with the currants, I would just have dug uh, holes into it and dug through it but as it is I am wanting to let me show you all oh, mini um, dig a little trench in here and although we did put manure on it which you can see is just broken down beautifully uh, I want to put a bit of manure at the bottom of the trench before I put the raspberries in so I know I could dig the cardboard in but I think Mike has got he wants to dig it in a little bed that he's doing at the top so he's going to take hold of the well rotted cardboard and use it elsewhere. So now I've got to dig a trench. Um, muddy knees. I've actually completely overthought the uh, planting of the raspberries because actually <laughs> I've done this 15 foot trench and we've only got six canes. They're meant to be about one and a half foot, two foot between each one but I'm just going to lay them out. I mean the thing is with your raspberry canes they thicken up so much anyway you know no one's going to be coming along with a tape measure checking they're exactly the right distance apart they'll soon fill any gaps that are left in between um, but obviously I'll try and lay them out with an even spacing plus I'm going back completely on what I just said about putting some manure in the bottom of the of the trench because to be honest it's so rich I found as I'm going along it's really really rich soil and we had topped it with manure before we topped it with cardboard so I think it's going to be quite rich enough plus there is an argument, tell me if I'm wrong here, there's an argument for not putting too much manure in a planting hole because it tends to um, 
the roots won't go as far for water. They'll stay fairly root bound. I don't know. Oh, here goes the tripod. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> tiddles. Okay, so these are my polka. Now bear in mind, as soon as I take them out of this water, it's gonna be a mad panic to get them in there and covered up. And with the aid of my little helper there or not, it might get done really well or not so well. Okay, you checking it for me. Yeah, these are polka, as I think I said. Um, autumn fruiting canes. And I think anyone who's already got autumn fruited canes already in would be trimming them down at this time of year, cut them right down to the ground if you haven't done it already. You've got till about February really to, to get it done. It's while well, they're dormant. But because these are first year canes, they've been cut down to about, oh crikey, there's a leaf on that. They've been cut down to about 10 inches and I'm gonna leave them like that because I don't want to lose the first year's crop. So here goes, oh, time's on, pressure's on. Tiddles is rolling in the trench. Okay, one cane. <laughs> this is how I'm gonna do it. One. Wow, I mean, if you look at that, those roots, they are brilliant. Look at that. Oh dear, maybe I do need a bigger trench. Two, three. They're probably going out of shot now. Oh, hey, I've got seven. I've been given, oh, have I? No, that's my current. Okay, oh, I still have got seven. I've looked out with the canes, right, three. I'll show you. Okay, if we have a look here, they're reasonably spaced out, aren't they? Now, the thing with raspberry canes is you don't want to plant them too deep. So, this is why the trench isn't so deep. Look at the roots on that, it's beautiful. Um, I want to get to about, if we look on there, that's a guide where it's been planted to in the nursery really. I want to get it to about that depth so putting it like that is pretty much all I need to do. I just need to rake some soil over, give it a jiggle, move along and get the others covered up as quickly as possible. Okay, you can see I've com done completely the opposite to um, what I said I was going to do with the cardboard. Basically, as soon as you picked it up, you could see it was just falling apart. So we've put it back on. Every little bit counts. The raspberry canes have been well watered in, um, jiggled, firmed, topped with watered, topped with the last of the cardboard. And Mike's now doing his favourite part now, which is putting the hops on top, which is... Let me show you over here. Oh, did, did we do that on this one? Oh, I'm having a look now. Yeah, we did. It looks like it, doesn't it? If you just look how lovely and clean that soil looks, actually. We haven't got all the weeds coming up. But, um, yeah, Mike, tell us about your hops. Well, the hops are from a local brewery in Stone. Yeah. And they're free to anybody who wants them. Yeah. So we discovered them about a year or two years ago. Yeah. And started picking them up. Um, and using them as a bit of a mulch really to sort of just suppress weeds keep the moisture in um, they smell very very alcoholic to start with but it kind of dissipates fairly quickly um, and yeah we found it worked really well the fruit so yeah free yeah yeah you know. using up your local resources so or reusing your local resources okay so i'm going to let mike do that bit <laughs> i'll come and show you and it all heavy. looks nice Quite at heavy. the end i know Here we've got the finished bed. We um, 
I'm saying we, Mike's just pulling the hops away from the canes. I know they say with manure and anything that could still have any heat in it, um, make sure it doesn't actually touch the bare stems of your fruit because it could burn. Whether it's the same for hops or not, I don't know, but that's it now. That's another bed ready to go for the summer. <gasps> so looking forward to it. Love raspberries. Okay, we're just moving the um, bits and bobs off the current bed now. But this time we're actually going to leave the cardboard on. There's only two bushes, so we're just going to plant through. Okay, you can see how easy it was to slice through this cardboard now that it's um, been rotting down for a few months. And what I've done here, if I show you, oh, without falling in, if I put my hand to the bottom there, it comes, it's pretty much the length of my hand or the depth of my hand that I've, um, that I've dug there, slightly less, so about five inches because black currants, red currants, not sure about white, need to be a little bit further in the soil than your raspberry. So we're going to have a quick look at the roots now. Okay, this is my red currant, Laxton's number one. And you can see, again, I'm really, really thrilled with the root structures on these. Um, but I'm going to want to be planting it to about this depth here. Um, so I'm hoping that the hole that I've dug is going to be deep enough. In fact, I'm just going to... <laughs> you can see what's going on behind the scenes here. Right, here we go. Let's put the red current in the hole. Yes, yes, if we come down here. Can you see? Oh, I think that's just about right. Right, I'm going to jiggle that about, nestle it down and cover it up. Something I found really satisfying um, yesterday was coming up and giving this grapevine a really good haircut. I think it, it has been well looked after in the past, but obviously last year it was just left to, to go a bit mad. So, you can see actually, I haven't tied it up after myself, which is very naughty, but I will. But if I show you, ooh, let's have a look here. Um, I've cut back to, well, that's three three uh, buds and I've left these long ones I'm going to shape those round um, because we've actually got sorry for swinging you around we've actually got it starts there goes up to here goes the full length of the two greenhouses <laughs> right around the end there so I'm trying to get it up so high because these have still got to work as proper greenhouses and I've tried to pin this up to this level so that um, we are be going to be able to get things in below because last year it was just a bit wild. So you can see it's, yeah, it's quite long. So I've been a bit cruel and I've got rid of, there were several bits that were coming over here and I've clipped them off because we need to be able to get in and out. Um, so yeah, but it was, oh, it was really nice to see the before and after. Of course I didn't film it, did I? But there are some pictures on Instagram and if we just have a little look at my little helper there. There we go. Oh, almost ready for the spring. Okay, well, best laid plans. <laughs> I've been laid to rest. 
you'll notice that I'm now somewhere completely different and I'm not in the shed at all. Um, it's actually now the next day and I'm in our tiny, tiny little summer house, which probably means I'm a bit too close for comfort. But I hope you appreciate the, um, the fact that I've put the same jumper on as I had on at the allotment, just, just for continuity. So, <laughs> but there's also things like, I've got Rocky to the side here instead of Tiddles. So if you think Tiddles has uh, gone a bit strange and actually turned into a dog, don't worry about it. Anyway, yes, so the reason I'm here and not there is because after I last spoke to you, after we put the fruit bushes in, we had, oh, the card stopped working on the camera, the touch screen stopped working on the camera, and then to top it all, the top of the tripod fell off. So actually what I'm looking at now, I'm glad you can't see this, um, the camera is actually held together by lots and lots of parcel tape. I've got no idea how I'm going to get it off the tripod, but I'll, I'll worry about that later. I just wanted to get this last bit filmed. Anyway, so, great way to start the new year. It was lovely getting down to the plot, really, really good. And yeah, just to start getting stuff in again, make you realise that everything's still going, well, hopefully everything's going to be starting to grow. You know, it's all safely tucked away as soon as the days start getting longer and the weather starts getting warmer there's going to be growth again which is the best thing but really i don't know what else to tell you really i haven't as ever i haven't been doing many videos over winter because i don't garden over winter i do garden but i don't grow stuff to have in over the winter so my visits to the plot have been few and far between however saying that um I did do the 12 tips of Christmas with 11 other fantastic YouTube gardeners um, and that was great fun. If you haven't looked that up yet, just go and have a look. Everyone has got a special tip that they abide by and really it's not just for Christmas, it's for the whole year through. So even though it's tagged as 12 tips for Christmas, it should just be 12 tips really. Anyway, maybe we can modify it, 12, 12 tips for Easter. That could be a thing. Anyway, that was great, even though it got a huge amount of thumbs downs, which um, <laughs> is a bit surprising. But um, yeah, yeah, that was really good fun. And I can only say thank you to everyone else who, who joined in um, and gave up their time. I know I've said it before, but that was good fun. And the other video I did was the, the Q&A that also went pear-shaped at the beginning. I think someone's trying to tell me something. And we had uh, 20 minutes of um, screen silence when we were supposed to be live, which basically had Mike and I running around not knowing what to do. But uh, fortunately, um, the moderators that day were Richard and Paul, and they just kept the conversation going in the little chat box at the side. So huge thanks to them. They, they saved the day. And we had really good fun doing that. So much so that... Um, yeah, I've asked Mike if he'd do a few more with me. I think he's quite good. And apparently I don't let him speak enough, so I might just I might just sit and do a silent one and let him do all the talking. What do you think? Do you think it could happen? I don't know. I'm not actually, actually which short. Sure. You can just see Rocky's bottom there. That is a dog, by the way. It's not a strange cushion. Anyway, but one of the things that brings me on to is I don't really do resolutions. Um, but this year in the garden, I know it's the time when we're all thinking of the year ahead, the growing wise. Um, my things really are to hopefully do a few more videos than I've been doing because I've been sitting on the laurels. It's been a funny year last year with swapping from the old allotment to the new one, especially sort of, I suppose from July, August time really, because whereas other people were harvesting, we'd left our harvest, we'd either harvested early or left our harvest behind at the previous allotment so um i felt there was a bit of a gap there but yeah i need to get my finger out and do some more videos because as well i got a really fantastic christmas present off my i hope it's going to be fantastic in um in the form of a wireless mic not a wireless michael a wireless mic so hopefully after all these years I'm finally gonna get my sound fixed because that is the criticism that most people come up with you know um, it's been called many things my sound but it's never been called good um, 
which is probably a good thing but yeah I've got I've got to try and work out how to use it now so hopefully over the next few videos I'll be able to uh, talk from a distance and you'll be able to hear me look at you um, so yeah so that's something I'm gonna play with plus I've got a new tripod which is just as well or rather I'm getting a new tripod um, stay to this one at the moment so that should make life a little bit easier because this one's been on the wonk for quite a while now so so yeah these are all going to sort of enable me to to do a few more videos and really really sort of get my teeth into the garden again because yeah I do feel like I missed out a bit last year so yeah yeah that's it really um <laughs> Rocky's just sighed we've only had him we've had him a couple of months now and I don't know if it's his make of dog, he's not a particular breed, he's a lurcher, but he does tend to grumble a lot. And I sort of, I do think, you know, you get the dog you deserve and I've got one that grumbles quite a lot and sighs when I'm talking. So maybe he's a good thing to have around because he'll shut me up. Um, what else to tell you? Nothing really. I think the next few weeks are going to be spent, because before we know we're going to be planting seeds again, but before this month is out i want to have got my fruit trees pruned so that's the apple tree the big central apple tree in the allotment the two smaller ones that we um that we moved that I hope are going to be okay we're going to keep our eye on buds on them looking for buds because we moved them at completely the wrong time but the only time we had from the old allotment and of course we've got that huge apple tree right at the top of the plot so we might try and do something with that because it is overgrown and one of the boughs is is leaning so that could come off at any point which would be fun um so we might try and do something with that but yeah pruning pruning the fruit then really all the fruit's done the soft fruit's in the trees will be getting on with their own stuff the raspberries are there um it's getting on with the veg then really i'm sewing plus a few other things like some hard standing we want to put down um We've still got to edge a couple of the beds. Yeah, yeah, just pre preparations. Preparations for the year ahead. Really exciting. Anyway, I did say, I don't know if I did, I was going to try and make this short because I'm sitting in my little summer house and it's surrounded by windows, which are surrounded by neighbours. They're not all in the garden watching, but if they are, they're going to wonder, I think I'm a bit stranger than they usually do. So I'm going to go. Thank you so much for joining. Um, it's been, it has been a bit of an odd mishmash this one, so I do apologise for that, but I did want to get something out there. Um, and yeah, yeah, thank you for all your continued support. I am going to start saying this, and I never usually do it, but hit the thumbs up, because quite a lot of people are hitting the thumbs down, so please put the thumbs up. And if you like what you see, subscribe because we'll have fun over the next few months if nothing else we'll have a bit of a giggle okay so from me and rocky's bottom <laughs> i'll see you very very soon okay thank you bye